What's up everybody? Uh, welcome to Vulcan Moto. Um, today we're going to continue with uh, the tutorial on how to make trees, actually, 3D trees, actually have collision meshes. Um, so this is actually going to be pretty straightforward uh, to do and for that we're going to come back to our little tutorial island uh, mesh here and the geometry node point cloud that uh, well, we created last time. Uh, so this, uh, as I mentioned last time, was the uh, actual mesh that uh, doesn't have the geometry node uh, applied yet. Um, and the reason for that is that we're going to modify the geometry node to instead of placing points to create uh, collision meshes. Uh, so to do that, uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go back to the geometry node. Um, and actually we're going to copy it uh, just to... Uh, uh, make sure that uh, we don't lose that and we're going to work off of that. Okay, here we go. So this is our geometry node uh, thing. Okay, so this is creating now uh, vertices. As you can see, they're all just little dots everywhere. Now instead of that, trees are typically um, could be described as vertical cylinders. Uh, so instead of lines, uh, we want to add cylinders. Uh, so to do that, uh, we're just going to literally add cylinder. Now to optimize this, uh, we're going to change the uh, number of vertices on the cylinder to three. So that would produce a uh, essentially three-sided prism. Um, that can then be used as the mesh. I mean, we can increase it to more, but since these things are going to be invisible, uh, and all we care about is that they um, are act as solid objects, um, we can just use a tr the three-sided one. Uh, so we're going to do that, and then we're literally just going to swap that out for the uh, lines. And you can already see that um, created all the meshes. Now we want to refine these a little bit. So these are right now you can see they're quite chunky. Um, so uh, the radius is definitely way too big. Uh, so for that, we're going to uh, do something like 30 centimeters. So that will make it a little bit smaller. Uh, depth, uh, two meters. Um, so two meters is probably okay, but uh, we want to make these um, uh, be moved up a bit. So uh, let's uh, make them a little bigger. So maybe 10 meters. Because uh, right now it's placing them like halfway through uh, the surface, as you can see. Um, uh, so there we go. Now we have our collision meshes. Uh, so uh, again, with this, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to apply, and then that's going to convert this to just one mesh with a shit ton of these um, three-dimensional uh, three-sided cylinders um, and uh, let's do that so uh, once we do that uh, the uh, mesh will become uh, this very fuzzy looking thing now uh, once we have this mesh what we want to do is we want to actually split this up so we can export it as separate pieces if you try to export all of it at once uh, you will be able to export it as an FBX file but then when you try to run it through the um, uh, K5N uh, importer um, or converter uh, it will crash because this has way too many vertices uh, so uh, for that uh, we're just gonna uh, simply just select like this and split it up into separate chunks um, actually before that uh, we want to uh, do a few things we want to rename it um, so we're going to rename the mesh to one wall tree collisions collisions and let's call it all uh, so the one wall of uh, the prefix on the name there uh, when we export it that will make these things behave as solid walls so we can actually collide with them. Um, the other thing that we want to do is we want to create a material for them uh, and the material for these is just going to be a blank uh, thing so um, we can call it invisible 
So then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the top view and we're going to start uh, splitting these off um, uh, into um, separate objects. So we're going to go into edit mode and we're going to start dividing them up into separate objects. And just to save some time, I've already done this. Um, so if we look over here, uh, we have all the tree meshes uh, already done. Uh, so we have uh, that section. Uh, that section. Yeah, so it's, it's all separated out into nine different sections. Um, so uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to take each of these and export it as FBX. Uh, so to do, now that we have the FBX files exported, we can then open up the KS editor and pull those in. Um, and we're going to have to do it for all nine uh, in my case. If you have more, it's going to be more. Uh, but really the, the key thing here is to uh, just make these uh, not renderable. So change this to false and change the cast shadows to false. Uh, as for the materials, uh, we can just uh, assign a null texture so it doesn't complain. Uh, there you go. Uh, I will actually generate that for you. And then save this as the KN5 uh, file. So we can do that like so. Uh, so we'll just repeat that for all nine of them and then put them into the uh, directory uh, of the game uh, and then set up our models uh, configuration files to load those in, much like any other uh, composite uh, model setup. So let's see what, what effect that has now in-game. In-game with the 2D trees uh, and uh, we should have collision meshes now. So if I were to go like this, boom, that tree was solid, so is this one. So now the immersion is quite a bit better because uh, now there are consequences to not staying on the road. So if I were to just understeer out of this, there are trees there. Uh, so it's much, much better. Uh, let's take a look like at uh, what that, uh, how that played out with the uh, three-dimensional trees. Yeah, here we are with the 3D trees, so let's uh, let's do it in reverse. There we go. Uh, oh, okay, that's a solid tree. What is that? The trees are definitely solid. So all the trees are now solid. So that is it. That's how you get uh, 3D tree collisions um, and pretty much the full spectrum of realism in uh, game. Um, uh, you can obviously tweak the uh, meshes uh, for the collisions to be a little thicker or more round if you wanted to, but I think the, the point is to have trees that you can't drive through. <laughs> so really it doesn't matter if uh, the mesh is uh, super detailed. Um, and that is it. So thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications when your videos become available. Uh, check me out at uh, Balcon Motor 2018 on Instagram uh, and check out uh, my coffee page uh, where I have uh, a bunch of these resources available for free download uh, as well as uh, some uh, additional resources that are part of uh, uh, a membership plan. I will be adding more 3D uh, tree models uh, as well as some new tracks uh, that you can get some early access to before they're released to the public. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.